so basically what C4 is doing here is, is something really important. There was a work that began with uh, looking at how the forest is changing. The Centre for International Forestry Research, C4's Director General Dr Robert Nassi, visited parts of Western Kenya where C4 scientists are conducting projects. In Itare, in Bome County, the main purpose of this visit was to learn how local communities conserve forests and water resources. These communities are organised into community forest associations and water resource user associations. The C4 and Green Belt movement had recently engaged WRUA and CFA in a training session as part of C4's Water Towers project. The project aims to encourage joint forest and water resource governance. C4's research shows that the health of forests directly affects the quality and quantity of water in rivers and streams. Therefore, there is need for more collaboration between these groups to ensure that there is better conservation and rehabilitation of Kenya's forests. So we realise that we need to work together. And uh, one of the initiatives is that we have started putting up a the team first visited the indigenous tree nursery, which holds up to 5,000 seedlings for planting in degraded forest areas, as well as riverbanks. Um, I want to thank the CIFO, who came to the ground to do capacity building in collaboration with the Clean Bend Movement. They have taken us to three to four workshops, which empowered us. And we realised that what is done in Community Forest Association is very similarly of what is done in the Water Resources Association. After visiting the nursery, the team went back to a community centre where members of both WRUA and CFA shared their stories and challenges with the team. Here, community members described the lessons learned from the gender and community participation training in resource management, which included practical actions they undertook. Another thing I learned in my lessons when we were at Londiani is how to conserve energy, how to save energy by using, using improved chicos so that we can not damage ama, so that we cannot finish our forest as we are going to fetch firewood. Kitu ya kwanza, nukufraia, waliongesea mimi ya akili, ya environment tena, kure tunachunga chemicheni ya machi, kure tunachunga environment ya Kenya, wakili yangu meongeseka. When I graduated from the school 37 years ago now, uh, I did not graduate as a forest engineer. I graduated as a water and forest engineer. So water and forest and trees are very much linked. You cannot be interested in forest, or you cannot be interested in water. What I see here is that people are really willing to do that, and maybe you are sort of artificially divided because there is a uh, water management administration or there is a, a forest management administration uh, deciding, okay, we want to work together and, and we want the, the Kenya Forest Service and, and we want the, the water uh, management uh, to, to help us because we want to manage our forest and our water together. I'm sure people will listen to you. So thanks a lot and Sante uh, Sana. In Sondu, the team visited the Citizen Science Project. The idea is to involve local communities in daily measurement of water levels, turning smallholder farmers into citizen scientists. They teach people to read gauges installed at key locations and then to send the value to a main database via SMS. The project is piloted in 14 sites in the River Sondu catchment, with a view of scaling it up to regional and national levels in the future. We introduced the water quality component where also we've engaged uh, the citizens, scientists of the water resources and solutions to do the water quality monitoring. And I've also been active since the inception in 2016 before the introduction of uh, measuring the nitrate content and also the capacity level. I've been sending on a daily basis the water level. We have also developed these tools to, to, to talk to our communities now so that we should not use water directly at the river and we also advise them on this issue. On the last day of the field trip, the team visited a farmer in Bomet County, who is part of the Smallholder Dairy Commercialisation Program, the SDCP. It is funded by the International Fund for Agricultural Development. The program aims to improve livelihoods by increasing local farmers' incomes, by supporting capacity building to increase dairy production and facilitate access to markets. 
Mr Bernard Kimay, a model farmer, showed the team the innovations he has developed to move from his conventional livestock practices into zero grazing approaches. With assistance from SDCP, on a three-acre piece of land, Bernard has been able to improve his milk production. Whereby we focus on more production of milk and trade in the milk. So he's managed to kind of uh, 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 save on a lot of costs of production. He also produces biogas that he uses to cook and run his chaff cutter. Oh, that's gas. You can hear? Yeah, it's released the gas, yeah, that's gas. Here you use some petrol to start the engine, eh? Well, when it comes now to greening, uh, we've been able to use the manure very effectively yeah. for biogas production. Yeah. And uh, the slurry is, is used it for increasing, fertilizing the, 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 the crops. Another aspect is breeding. Uh, I adopted the breeding because, you know, breeding is a very important component in dairy. So from what he heard, this local animal has been managed to use AI, mm -hmm. which is also promoted by the program. Mm -hmm. Challenges at uh, of being a dairy farm in this area are water and feed. <coughs> water and feed, cattle. yes. Yeah, yes. And that's mm -hmm. why lots of cattle graze in the forest or they have their, per their permanent cows in the forest. Mm -hmm. um, and so with this zero grazing structure, I mean, Bernard is, he is self-sufficient in his feed for his cattle, in his water. C4's Greening Livestock Project can learn from the SDCP. The environment, social and economic incentives of the Greening Livestock Project aims to reduce emissions from livestock, to increase cows productivity and increase people's incomes from sales of dairy products. This is achieved by adopting low emissions agricultural practices. Yeah.